Hi YouTube, this is your girl Simply Love coming back to you with a video for the month of December. Wow, these months really went by fast, didn't they? Wow, it's almost Christmas. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all you ones that celebrate um, uh, the holidays. And may you have a, re a very, very, very lovely new year coming up to us um this is a new year i'm getting from my um spirit guides that there's going to be big big major changes in uh when it comes to people and relationships uh with all the full moons that we had i've been getting like you know just things are just going to be totally changing it's going to be a, to a total change in the universe with uh people and the way people think and the way people uh view themselves uh it's going to be like uh, crossroads coming in for a lot of people going to be you know at their crossroads of making decisions of um, where you want to be at in life if you want to you know a happiness you know you want to go on the path of road of happiness and and love and loving yourself loving you know loving the most high God who who put you here in the first place um, coming into your calling a lot of you finding true love for the first time in your whole life for some of you you've been through a lot you know with love and relationships and that's what I'm you know sticking to right now because that is a you know that's the main key that's you know that's the key to life is relationships because relationships is built on friendships you remember that relationship is built on friendships and you have to learn we have to recondition our mind to learn that we have to you know first of all be you know uh you have to love your own self you have to love yourself first you have to have some boundaries men and women it goes for both you have to have some boundaries set some rules and regulations that go to show how much you love yourself you're just not going to accept anything we shouldn't have you know our uh, we shouldn't be lowest feel like we have low self-esteem for ourselves and I forgot to say this this uh, video is going to be for uh, the month of December for uh, Taurus okay this is for you Taurus before I go rambling on you all know that I, I ramble you know I have to you know I guess I'm sort of like a spiritual preacher teacher whatever you want to call it you know I have to talk I have to say things because of the spirit that's uh, around me uh, through the Most High God so um, this is one thing I want to get out that I had saw, I believe it was on Facebook, and it really touched my heart, and I want to share it with you guys. I, had, I didn't share it with anybody else. I just saw it today. And what I want to share with you, it says, sometimes it takes learning how to, to be perfectly alone just so the Most High God can show you what, what being perfectly loved feels like. That, that's a real strong statement right there. Um, nobody can complete you like God can give him your heart first and he will place it in the hands that deserve you yes that's a big big statement there you know give your heart to the most high God and you're giving your heart you love yourself you're showing him that you love yourself and he's gonna you know spend that alone time with you to connect to him and then he's gonna place you in the hands of someone who loves you just as much as he does it just only makes sense you know it just makes too much sense and that really caught my eye and I'm gonna you know say it to the rest of you know the ones I already started I just saw it today so don't be I'm gonna say it to the rest in the videos the rest of the videos that I do today so I'm doing a nice shuffle right here on um, right here uh, in front of you so you can see me shuffling the cards I already prayed you know I already done that I already prayed to the Most High God and, and already did my um, meditation uh, so that uh, the spirit guys can tell us what messages that we have for you guys today, you, you all you Tauruses out there, okay? For the month of December 2015, and I am going to be using um, uh, uh, the Romance Angel cards. And I'm going to throw in a bonus card at the end. I'm going to pull one from the Law of Attraction. Um, law of attraction cards it's going to give you a little affirmation at the end you might want to get a pencil and paper because i'm not going to put it in the description it takes up a lot of time for i have to get the videos out for you guys for the first of the month uh comes out hopefully <laughs> i had some problems with my internet here for a minute so um yes um 
you might want to get a pen and piece of paper and write down your um, your affirmation that the spirit guides is going to lead uh, uh, lead to you um, today as we pull from the cards. Okay. So I'm shuffling the cards. That's going to be your bonus card at the end. So you need a pen, paper, pencil, and a piece of paper. And you're going to write that affirmation down. And you can say that, you know, uh, once before you go to bed and once when you wake up in the morning. And, you know, when you get in the habit of making affirmations and doing meditations, you know, you kind of become whole with yourself. You kind you find God there. And it, through meditation is the same thing as prayer. You find God there. You find the true you, who you are, and accept you for who you are and what you are. And you want someone else as you know to come full circle with you. You know, as a as a helpmate, relationship wise, you want somebody to come full circle. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to begin, and I'm going to pull four cards from here for the month of December for one for each week to tell a story and like I said this is a general reading so you know the situation on that is going to apply to some of you Tarses out there and some of you it's not going to apply to at all or if you feel as though you know this um um applies to you you need more information you know just look below you'll find all my information on how to get in touch with me for a personal private spiritual reading with with me um like i said i'm a spiritual reader i'm not an astrologer or anything like that so um i could probably tell you you know what you know what the sign is as far as the cards and how they do but i read the cards the way to um through spirit you know because i pray and i meditate through and i ask the most god, high god that, to bring the angels to me and tell me what they my whoever he's going to have the audience to see my videos what they need to hear and what they can resonate with so that's how i operate i don't use the books i don't go by the books i throw those books away because what's the sense in you know doing it if you have to read it by a book if you if, you, if you're going to do this and do your job you know you're going to do it right and you're going to have god involved in every god is in everything he is in everything but you have to put him there you have to let him know that you realize he is he is the owner of everything so he is in everything so you have to put him in, in everything so that's what i do when i pray and meditate i ask him to, you know to come and send the angels to me for god it's for you and not only does it help you it helps me doing this too so we're all on the same path we're all trying to get to the same path and that's that journey to uh happiness and and true love and love okay so taurus let me get to the um reading the first card i have out for you is the three of pentacles let me put this thing down here so you can see it's the three of pentacles so you know far is i'm sorry about my nails i had to take that stuff off and i left some on there so sorry about that um this is what spirit is telling me regarding this call a uh, card taurus for some of you tauruses out there there is something that you need to go back and finish um when it comes to a relationship it looks like there was something started but it never was finished um it needs to be complete it needs to be or or something else needs to be brought in to complete or finish is what the, the spirit gods are telling me um somebody you know whether it's man or man or woman Taurus here somebody is feeling as though they don't have all the all the tools necessary or all the information um communication or something like that they're telling me like maybe it might be a communication gap um somebody don't know somebody is left like not knowing everything or not for sure about whether they should finish you know go forward with this relationship or or just leave it as is for a lot of you Tauruses I'm feeling out there you know you some of you Tauruses out there that may resonate with this is like the you, you don't know whether you should complete this relationship or if it's a completed relationship there's something you don't know if you should go back and do because they're still if you see them still trying to build here and and, and complete but they haven't really got it up there yet. There's some hesitance there for some reason. For some of you Tarses out there, you're very hesitant and you're very cautious or something for some reason about a relationship issue. And you don't know if you should continue 
with this relationship you know and complete where you start where you left off at some of you just may be wondering about somebody or wondering if you should step into a relationship with somebody um and the next one i have is the night the knight of pentacles in a love relationship like i said the knight of pentacles is a very down to earth person it's an earth sign it is you taurus you know because it is an earth sign who's pretty laid back pretty comfortable sit you sitting back here you know and you, you seem like you have you you're 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 pretty good you know with, with finances and things like that but you sit back kind of like you're pondering or wondering or looking out into the future um about this situation it's got you thinking whether you like i said it's a, a, rom a, a romance or a marriage for some of you for some of you it's just a relationship and you're wondering if you should continue on with this relationship you, you you're going and thought about it you're looking out in the future is this relationship here going to be worth my time is it going to be worth my efforts you know putting my all in all in is it really going to be worth it because there's some skepticism here because you're sitting back wondering you're wondering you're looking out you're thinking um you know you know you're doing you're well to do you know you can can do things when it comes to you know you know how to make someone happy um but you're not going to let anybody run over top of you either so i'm getting a feeling like you know maybe some of you Taurus is you're in, in with someone that may feel as though they can run over top of you and it's kind of slowing down the relationship you're kind of looking at it you know oh should i really you know go in for this should i really um complete go in this relationship because something's just don't feel right you know something's not feeling right i gotta sit back and think about this thing for a minute you know i gotta i gotta i, I got a lot to lose if i you know put in my all in all in this relationship and then they skip out on me because you're, what you're feeling is that they're, this person, whoever this person is, and I have the um, two of pentacles, whoever this person is, you're feeling as though that there's someone else, like they're juggling another relationship. It could be a, um, uh, another person involved. This is what's got you skeptical of moving on in this relationship. For some of you Tauruses out there, you're just thinking that there's something else going on here. There's somebody else in the picture, and this person is, you know, be kind of suspicious to you by their actions um they're you know it's like they're with you one minute and then one minute they're they they go away for a while and they're with you you know with someone else possibly because that's what it's just saying this is, is possible that there is a, a third wheel here or somebody hasn't gotten totally gotten over somebody else and they're still thinking or still just you know playing this juggling act of going back and forth you know back and forth to this relationship and it's got you thinking you know and wondering and you know you know you got a lot there to lose if this person is not sure of what they want you're not sure if you want to build or continue to you know build a relationship with this person for some of you Tauruses out there but you're going to hear something from you're going to hear you're going to get some news or a text or a uh, letter or something like that from someone um spirit is telling me that you uh regarding this relationship or regarding this issue in this relationship uh you're going to find out some news about it um it could be good news for some of you and it could not be so good news to some of you some of you may have a, a good news about this relationship issue thing or what you're going to find out about this person or you know some of you may not get su such exciting news but it's something that you've been waiting on um is you've been questioning it you've been pondering over it you've been thinking a lot about it this relationship or marriage it could be a marriage also spirit is telling me and um, you're wondering, you know, and, and, and all of a sudden, you know, this news comes to you. It seems like right on time, too, be before you start building on it, this news is going to come to you. And you'll know whether you should you can continue building on this relationship or if you just need to let it go. And it, I'm feeling also some marriages out there also for some of you Tauruses is pondering on whether you should stay in or, you know, you should go. But this news is, that's coming in is going to is going to tell you and let you know what you should how you should carry how you should carry move forward 
from this relationship that, that you're in. Okay? So that's all Spirit has to tell me on that. Now I'm going to shuffle the romance cards and see what they have to say. They might can tell us a little bit more, okay? So let me just shuffle a little bit. Things are so hard, it's hard to shuffle them. <laughs> okay, and I want to pull two cards. Hmm. Okay, for some of you Tauruses out there, uh, whatever, like I said, the, uh, we already talked about the news that's going to come in. It's going to be very soon. Uh, like this, you know, like this is the saying, very soon. You're going to, you know, you're going to find, you're going to get your answers. You're going to get what you need, what you've been thinking about, you, whatever you're wondering about in this relationship or marriage or partnership, whatever it may be. Um, male or female, you're going to find out something very soon, as we saw in the, you know, the, the mini, the short, the, the reading there uh, with the, the news coming. And this is the, the card of news of letting you know. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So some of you Tauruses out there, you, when you hear this news, you're going to have to, you know, come to a decision about what you want to do depending on what news that you get, you know, what the news is that you're going to get. And it is regarding a past life relationship, okay? A past life relationship is, is what the spirit guides are saying.